What is the difference between a muscle origin and insertion? Hi, I'm Hayley from Parallel Coaching and in this video tutorial we're going to explore muscle origins and muscle insertions and what the difference between the two are. Now you need to know this as part of your level 2 anatomy and level 3 anatomy and physiology exams. Before we get started on the detail of origins and insertions, I want to let you know that you can access three mock questions to test your knowledge on today's content. All you need to do is if you're watching this on our blog, scroll down and you will see the three mock questions there. Also, if you're not on our blog yet, just click the link that is with this video and it will take you straight there. Now, before we go on and understand about origins and insertions and how these all fit together, what you need to understand is some basic anatomy about skeletal muscles. Now, a skeletal muscle is any muscle that is voluntary and striated. That includes our quadriceps, our calf muscles, our deep thora thoracic muscles like our diaphragm or our TBA. It includes all the muscles that are skeletal in type, which is different to cardiac and smooth muscles. So let's just focus on these skeletal muscles. Now, anatomy of these skeletal muscles means that they are striated. It means that they have these stripy look to them. If you look at a picture of a bicep brachii, for example, you can see the lines going down at that line of fiber. And these are the muscle fibers, and they all run in a direction that links the origin to the insertion. So that's the overview of how we're going to understand this with our skeletal muscles. And they work as a result of these muscle contractions that happen along the muscle fibre. And that basically allows for movement to happen at a joint. So how does this happen? All of these muscle fibres stack up and they basically accumulate and run down in towards a tendon. And the tendon is this thick connective tissue that then attaches the muscle to the bone. And the point whereby that tendon attaches onto the bone is called an attachment point. And that, depending on what which part of the muscle that's on, will either be called an origin or an insertion. Now, let's first of all explore how this skeletal muscle works. So it contracts, and as it does, it's going to pull and shorten the muscle, which will basically bring the two attachment points towards each other. Now, I want you to think of it like the origin is the origination. It's the point it starts at. You originate at a point. If you think about a running race, you're going to start at a start line and you're going to go to a finish line. The start line is the origin. It's the point it starts at. And then the muscle fibres I was just telling about go all the way to the insertion. So they're literally running that start to finish line. And as they get to the insertion, that's where the muscle ends. So see it as origin is the start point, it's the origination of that muscle. And then the insertion is the sort of the finish line, it's the point whereby it moves towards. So now as we look at this and we see right, we've got the origin as the start point and the insertion uh, as the sort of finish point. Imagine that this now has to cross one or more joints. And that's how a muscle works, it's how it creates movement. It has to cross a joint. So imagine that we've got the origin, then it has to cross a joint, and then we've got the insertion. Now imagine that we're moving and pulling. So let's think of tug of war, for example. We've got a team of tug of war at the origin. We've got a team on the insertion. But imagine that the origin are so strong, they're staying really still, they're grounded, they're anchored into the ground. And as they pull on the tug of war, it's bringing that insertion towards the origin. And that's what happens when a muscle contracts. It creates movement. So the origin is on the stationary point. The origin is anchored. It's staying still. It's on the stationary part of the body, the stationary bone. Then as it pulls and contracts and the muscle shortens, at that point, it's pulling the insertion towards the origin. And that's what creates our movement. In your bicep, as you contract your bicep brachii, it looks like flexion of the elbow. And that's what you get as that movement occurs. If you take your pectoralis major, you've got your origin, which is across your clavicle, your sternum, which is your chest bone, and then your ribs. But your insertion is on your humerus. So as you pull those points together, imagine that tug of war, it creates the joint action of horizontal flexion. So you've got these positions, you've got these this anatomy of the skeletal muscle allows you to understand the origin and insertion. But in summary, the origin stays still. It's the attachment point 
whereby the muscle connects to the bone, but it's on the stationary part of the body. So it's on usually the central part closest to the heart, but not always the case. And you may find on other muscles, like for example, our trunk muscles, which includes our rectus abdominis, our TVA. This becomes less the case because quite often the stationary point is the pelvis and not near the heart in the thoracic. So it's about understanding that the origin is the stationary point and the insertion is on the bone that is then moving towards that when we contract the muscle. And that gives you a firm understanding of origins and insertions and their differences between the two. So next time you are learning origins and insertions, really look at an image of that muscle and think, well, when I move that muscle, which point would stay still and which point would move? And it's the stationary part that is the origin and it's the insertion that is on the moving bone. Now, to help you learn the origins and insertions of all the muscles you need to know, you need to learn 37 muscles for your level two anatomy and physiology exam and 50 for your level three anatomy and physiology exam. So in order to learn that, you need to know the difference between which part is the origin and which part is the insertion of each of those muscles. And that can sound like a lot of information to learn. So I've prepared a video training for you, which shows you five steps to learn all of the origins and insertions and remember those. So all you need to do is to click the link that is with this video and it will take you to the recommended video. And that is gonna be your five steps to learning origins and insertions. And remember to check out the three mock questions that come alongside this video so that you can test your knowledge and check that you are on track with your learning. Alongside that, if you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure you click the link and we will see you on the next video. Take care. Thank you.